Hi everyone, we're continuing the video series about changes and improvements to KimCAD version 7.0. Uh, in this video we'll be talking about the palette of unit operations and we're going to cover the basics of working with the palette. So I've got my palette expanded a little bit here to give me a little room to show you what's happening. And the first thing to cover, which I think has been covered elsewhere, but it's a good time to revisit, is that in order to put a unit operation to place a unit op on your flow sheet, it's now a click and hold operation. So clicking, holding, dragging to where you want that unit operation on your flow sheet. And when you release, that new unit operation is placed. Okay, I'm going to delete the one I just added for clarity here. But the next thing to know is how to get to the additional graphic representations of a unit operation. And in order to do that, I hover over that SCDS and I right click. When I right click, I'm presented with a sub palette of all of the graphical representations of the SCDS column. And you can see there are several here. And if I want to use one of these, I simply click, hold, and drag that onto my flow sheet. One additional point to note is that you can also change to make one of these icons be the default in the main palette. And you do that by control clicking. So if I like the packed SCDS more than the trade for my flow sheets, then what I can do is control click and the trade or sorry the packed is now my default so if I drag that onto the flow sheet you see I've got the packing representation okay so I'm gonna delete that and the final thing to note about the palette and how to use it there are menus available for certain operations on the palette but a right click brings up the sub palette. So a control right click will actually get you additional options. In this case I can't edit the color scheme of a stock color scheme like grayscale, but if I had a custom user built color scheme then what I can do is edit the color scheme of that unit operation at that point. So a control right click brings up additional options uh, on, a, on, a, on a menu. So I hope you've learned a little bit about the basics of working with the palette and in future videos we'll cover more about how to build a custom palette uh, copying and moving unit operations within a palette. But thanks for listening and we'll see you in the next video.